Have you ever wanted to capture a moment in your memory with your eyes? Hi guys, I'm Amabili. I'm Eliara and this is Bubblecast. Today we brought two professionals related to vision, but in different areas, a photographer and an ophthalmologist. Please welcome Ana Julia and Dr. Souza. Hi! Thanks for inviting us. This is a great opportunity to show how different jobs are connected, right? Thanks for joining us. Ana Julia, you were working in Italy until last week, right? Yes, I was working there for three weeks. I went to Rome and Florence and the cities are amazing. The view is awesome and there are lots of people interested in photography. So I made a lot of new friends. Wow, that's amazing. So I'm kind of curious, what kind of photos did you took there? Well, I usually photograph people in everyday situations, like on the streets, doing their things, so I can capture their real sense without posing for the picture. It's pretty cool to see the people living their lives just and just being human. I did the same in Italy. The only difference was that I was capturing the Italian people with their culture, not the Brazilian ones. What about you girls? What sort of photo do you usually take? Um, because of my job, I generally take photos of people's eyes so I can analyze them, but when I'm out of the work, I really like taking photos of nature. Well, one of my hobbies is cooking, so I like to take photos of my food I make. What about you? I'm a landscape lover, so you can imagine how my photos look. Well, everyone has their own way of taking photos with the personality and vision of the world. This is an example of the power of pictures, right, Uyara? Exactly! Last month, me and Bibi watched a documentary about this topic. And there was a phrase that really got me. Is a picture is worth a thousand worlds. I think I watched the same one as you girls. I remember they gave an example of it, like how a simple picture can tell a lot of different things. And the best part, people from all over the world can understand it even speaking other languages. Yes, I remember they saying this. Now I would like to know the opinion of a professional photographer about the power of pictures. Anna Julia? Pictures tell stories or keep records of history, bringing emotion, freezing moments and warming people's hearts when they remember something by seeing them. Furthermore, it can help teachers to show a broader view of the content they are teaching and be more dynamic. They can also change people's mind and make them think more about the topics they see in a photo. Have you ever heard someone saying, I just believe in seeing? This is an example of it. As a photographer, my job is not just to take the clicks, it's to have an impact in people's lives. Wow! Now that we already talk about the artistic side of lenses, what do you have to teach us about the biological side, Dr. Souza? Actually, the anatomy of cameras and eyes have more similarities than you could imagine. Like the cornea and the lens, they both have spherical curvature that allows the eye and the camera to view in a limited area to the left and the right. But without the curve of the eye and the camera would only see what's in front of them. Both of them have the ability to focus on one single object and blur the rest. That's really interesting because the eye does this by relaxing the muscles and the lens has a flattened shape. Why we are the subject? I, I've always been curious about this. It's why some animals can see better in the dark than humans. This happens because their eyes are adapted to compensate for the lack of light. And how does it, this happen? All eyes depend on photoreceptors in the retina to detect light particles, known as photons. Photoreceptors then report information about these photos to other cells in the retina and brain. The brain sifts through information and uses it to build up an image. The brighter the light is, the more photons hit the eyes. In the darkness, it's too difficult for the daytime animals, but for night creatures, it's just adaptation. Like the size of the eyes to scan more light in the dark. It's incredible how we learn so many things so fast. Thank you girls for coming and spending the time with us. And you guys, have you discovered today Bubbles' favor?